Hello, love bugs, and happy spring update. I wanted to make a video today to show all of you five different things that you may have missed from the new Palia spring update. Item number one, Cernuk now have an incredibly low chance, but a chance nonetheless, to drop a plushie when you hunt them. Each of the different type of Cernuk have a different plushie that they will drop. Uh, again, it is incredibly, incredibly rare. It took me about 1,400 arrows to get my first plushie. Uh, so a lot of arrows to get my first one. Like I said, each one of the Cernuk drop a different kind of plushie. So that kind of looks like them. So for example, this Cernuk would drop uh, a plushie that looks like him compared to the basic Cernuk, which can drop uh, a plushie that looks like them. And then if you're a big fan of Disco Deer or Swag Stag, or as I like to call him, Elkton John, Elkton John is currently dropping the plushie that we can get from Zeki, which is actually we don't think supposed to be correct. Correct. Um, he is supposed to be dropping this version of a plushie, but we think it's just a little bit of um, of maybe a, a glitch right now that might be fixed in the future, or maybe there's just a chance that he drops both, you know, but technically he's supposed to drop this one. So <laughs> get out there and hunt yourselves some Cernuk. Number two, I'm sure by now you know that there are all of these beautiful flowers that you can get in the game, but if you didn't know, once you complete a uh, watering them to their full stage they will actually give you seeds so once you finish watering all of your flowers uh, and they hit like their final full stage you can literally just walk up to them and pick up seeds to grow additional flowers allowing you to keep growing your beautiful little garden without having to keep going after bugs uh, a lot of us aren't like huge bug catchers or we like to do a honey lure now and then but obviously some of the flowers are really hard to get so this is a really great way to continue growing your garden without having to keep uh, hunting bugs also you can really lay your flowers really close together if you want to while you're figuring out how you want to um design them on your uh on your plot and that way it's a lot easier to water them so uh see how i'm just kind of laying them down as fast as i can these different all of these different ones as they're these little tiny seedlings because i can lay them kind of right on top of each other and then i'm going to be able to water them really quickly because they are so tight together which makes it a lot faster to get them to their different levels and also while you should have gotten this from doing the storyline uh don't forget 2.5 <laughs> Ani also sells the flowers that are currently available in the game and yes there are a couple that are missing and they hopefully will be coming very soon but you can use your bug medallions to redeem them for different flowers so some of the flowers that are a little bit harder to get or if you're just trying to figure out a design that you have and you need you know 60 tulips you can go ahead and spend your spend your coins on getting yourself some tulips Number three, I found completely on accident and by luck, just because I needed more furniture modification kits. If you head on into Tish's shop and go up to her little store, I was buying modification kits, but I always do a quick scroll whenever there's an update to see if there's anything new. And Tish had a new wallpaper, the Ember Born wallpaper right there. So if you haven't picked that up yet, definitely go grab it. It's really cute. Number four, you also may have figured out part of it in that Bedrew has new furniture, but you can also customize it. <laughs> if you didn't already have your items for your spring fever set, they are right here at this shop, uh, right here at the ranch. Scroll all the way down to get your spring fever wheelbarrow, your spring fever swing, and your large spring fever lights. Now you are going to learn all the rest of the recipes from this set just by making these items. So back at home on your workbench, you can scroll on down. And like I said, I've already made all of the items, so I have everything unlocked. So if we look down at the spring, uh, the spring fever set, it is all down through here. You get lamps, you get a fire pit, all kinds of beautiful stuff, including the spring fever rock edging finally, and then the wood edging finally. But what's really exciting is that you can customize the colors. I mean just look at how beautiful the purple looks for the wisteria pergola and then with these blue lights like laid up next to it i mean 
it's just so pretty. I just, I just, I love it. Uh, I've been playing around with a lot of the different colors from this set. This is uh, one of the other little arch trellises here in that green. I mean, let's be real. It just looks beautiful through here. So definitely go check out all of these different items and how you can color them in different ways because it's amazing. Now, back in Kilima, have you maybe noticed just a little something not too big of a deal down at the docks? Just, you know, a tiny little guy hanging out. No big deal. <laughs> Frogbert is here, but did you know he has a gift for you? As if the giant frog uh, taking up half of Kilima wasn't enough, the developers were like, well, hey, let's make him climbable. <laughs> uh, so if you come and fly on over to Frogbert from one of the different ledges and then give him a good little climb, you are actually going to be giddy, able to get on top of him to not only get the best view ever of all of Kilima, but you are also going to be able to get yourself a little gift. Uh, and I have been watching some people struggling to get up here. Just remember that if you do use your stamina to just jump up, uh, it won't get you as far as just simply going slow and steady will. So make sure that you do that for part of the climb if you're having trouble. And then there is a gift up here uh, for you for climbing Frogbird. And you know what? I'm not going to spoil what it is because if it hasn't been spoiled already by another video that you've watched or by just everyone shouting about it on day one <laughs> in uh, in the game uh, I'm gonna let you go and enjoy what it is yourself so go ahead and climb up Frogbird if you haven't already and get your present and then let me know what you think of it down in the comments all right love bugs I love you so much go catch those Cernuck and get those plushies <laughs>